A toast for King Rockdor. Long live King Rockdor! Long live King Rockdor! What is it this time, Unferd? It's Grendel, my lord! Grendel the Troll! The damn thing slaughtered your men while they were asleep! Go! Gather more soldiers inside Hero, and then wait until Grendel comes. It was no use, my lord! The beast was too great for those poor soldiers! Have you heard about the troll who attacks King Rodgar's Mead Hall every night? What is the name of that troll again? Ah, yes! That's right! Grendel! What is this I'm hearing? A talk about trolls and monsters? You're interested, aren't you, my lord? Why indeed I am! In fact, I'm thinking of sailing to Denmark. I would like to see this troll personally. Halt! State your business. I am Beowulf, the son of Ejtheo. I must report this to the king first. My lord, a man named Beowulf would like to have a word with you. Beowulf? Ah, the son of my old friend. Let him and his friends in and treat them well. Your Majesty, I am- Yes, yes, I know you. What is it that you need? I have fought and won countless of battles, and I can assure you that I could slay the beast, Grendel, with nothing but my hands. Impressive. What is your plan? Have a drink. Have a drink. Did you know that he was lost in a swimming match? And I am sure that he will once again lose, but this time against a troll. Now, now, settle down, Unfer. You're quite drunk already. Excuse me, sir, but we are now going to leave. You may stay here for the rest of the night. And good luck with Grendel. Did you hear that? It's probably here now. Hey, troll! Get ready for the next battle. Battle, battle, battle. Round one, fight! <laughs> you win! Behold, oh you men! The arm of the beast, not even swords, could cut through. Remove with nothing but my hands. Excellent, Beowulf. It is my honor, my lord. Looks like I was wrong about you, Beowulf. I apologize for last night. Now, lad, let's forget about the past and celebrate. Thank you, your majesty. We will now spend another night here before we leave for Gateland. Not you, Beowulf. I have a special room just for you. It's too late! It's gone! And it took Grendel's arm as well! Wasn't that his mother? I do not care whether that is Grendel's mother or not. I will go after that beast and slay it, just like how I defeated its son. What happened last night? It was Grendel's mother! It attacked us and took Ashura! I'm sorry, but I have to depend on you again this time. Their lair is in a lake. A magical lake that burns whoever tries to swim inside of it. In fact, no one has ever reached the bottom. Even animals are afraid of getting close to that lake. Are you sure you're going to do this? Death is something I never fear, my friend. Here, take my sword. It has never lost even a single battle. Take my sword in exchange.
Does that mean he's done for? Come on, lads, let's head back. I will stay here a little bit longer. Be our guest. Maybe they're right. I think he's not going back anymore. Who says I'm not? Beowulf? King Hrothgar, I present to you the head of Grendel and the hilt of the sword I used to destroy its mother. I never thought you would make it. Come on, we should celebrate once more. You deserve it. Thank you, King Hrothgar. You've treated so well. My men and I, however, have to return to Gateland as soon as possible. Baby, I am the one who should express my gratitude. You have brought peace to my land and friendship among the Danes in the gates. Off you go. Your people need you, but please take these gifts with you. Beowulf, you're back. Come, come. Thank you, my lord. I told you that it would be dangerous, but I am happy that you made it back safe and sound. So many things happen, my lord. Anyway, you seem tired, so why don't you rest for a while? We will talk about the land where to rule over when you are ready.